Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are back on the test server, taking a look at the new Burning Brute event that has come to this one. It's very similar to like the um, the Ice Shimura event. Very, very similar in that sense. So we'll go through the strategy, the skills, all that kind of stuff, the shop, what you can buy from there. So let's get into the video. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the abilities of this guy. And once again, this is on the test server. If you want to know how to get on the test server, link will be in the description because that's always asked. Not too sure when it's coming to live server. Not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. So when the Burning Brute, this is his first ability. Basically, when his health falls below 80 and 50%, he falls asleep for five seconds. Um, once you deal 10% more of his health in damage, he's going to wake up and get more vicious each time. So that's pretty much that one. You damage him, he falls asleep, you get some free damage, then he wakes up and gets harder. That's the, the, that's pretty much what that one is. Uh, the next one, he breathes fire out of his mouth, inflicting damage on his enemies. And then once the, he awakens from his doze, which is caused by that first ability at 80 and 50%, um, he receives a new type of ability that causes the ground below his enemy's feet to burn, dealing AoE damage. So he blows fire, and then once he awakens from his slumber, he does AoE ground damage. Uh, Blaze Barrier. Now, this is the one where the strategy comes in for him. So, the Brute summons a fiery barrier around itself at the beginning of the battle um, that is able to reduce the damage of all incoming attacks which come from outside the shield by 80%. Shield is deactivated when the Brute's Doze ability is being used. So, when you put him asleep for that 10% from 80 to 70 and 50 to 40, doesn't matter. But for the rest of the time, you want to be in melee range to get some good damage. So, for this one, I think you're going to want to focus on some melee damage um, for me unfortunately on this account I don't have much melee I'm feeling like a really good team would be basically a decent melee damage dealer we'll, we'll try it with my Scrig plus a Rowan and a uh, Rosaline they, they, they're just staples for this kind of thing and then the twins if you do have them um, would be another staple for this one I, I feel like just the, the in these sorts of content Rowan twins Rosaline plus a tank like Lucius with the healing and the shields, um, and then a good DPS, whatever the whatever the battle requires, is pretty much what you're going to be looking at. Obviously, I don't have that. When it does go onto the live server, I'll test it across all of my accounts and just show you the different options that you can do with what you do have. So for this one, we're going to test this, but we're going to remove her and put him in there to try and get that extra melee damage. I feel like Wukong could be really nice with dealing his max HP um, da damage with you know his his clones i don't know how it scales on this so we'll find out so let's just jump in maybe putting her in the front might nudge her forward a little bit i don't know we'll find out let's let's do this so there you go he's got that fiery shield so as you can see you want to be in that shimira is not in that shield from there but i've got the other three in there so hopefully we can get some we're, we're getting zero damage we are getting absolutely zero damage here scrag scrag's gonna start stomping Okay, I might. what I might have to do is put Rowan in the front row um, so that he can get those melee guys with his attack buff because I think he's missing the Scrig at the moment. But as you can see, it's just one of those continuous ones. Um, Shamira's got an ult and it seems to be... Okay, so he's he's going into his slumber, so that's why the Shamira's doing some really decent damage and we're getting some good burst into him. Once again, the Rosaline in this would be really nice because Rosaline as well... Um, if, especially if you've got a melee hero as your main damage dealer, she's going to go inside that cone as well. And her cups are just going to deal some really nice damage. So I feel like Rosaline is definitely going to be an MVP for this one. But like I said, we'll go over this more once it comes to li the live servers. And I've got my other accounts to test on and we can see any, some sort of different strategies we can use. Cause I'll go through all of them and just make the best of what I can. Um, but at the moment, this is looking fairly average. We're going to get 60 which gives us 60. So if you do 100% damage to him, you're going to get 100. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put Rowan in the front row, see if that changes anything. I'm just going to skip and then we'll come back and see if it changed anything just out of curiosity. But we will go more into depth and into strategies, but a nice melee damage dealer, I feel like is going to be a really good one for this battle. So the Rowan in the front row with the Shimira only got us like 56. Um, I swapped Shimira with Belinda to try and get extra faction bonus. It got us 68. But once again, this account is very, very bad for this. I was going to throw any melee heroes I had in, and then I just looked through my heroes, and I was like, 
wow, I've got a Grizzul as my only melee hero, so so that ain't gonna work. Uh, we, we'll just have to we'll just have to stick it out and wait for that. But I definitely think once again, Rosaline's gonna be the key one if you've got her, um, and then a melee DPS would be really nice as well. But honestly, I just feel like. Even even the Lucius isn't really needed. It's not. It's there's not much survival really involved in this one, especially when you got a Rowan with the potions. So I feel like you can drop the Lucius and just put another melee damage dealer in. Um, pretty much just load it up with melee damage dealers and a Rowan, a uh, a Rosaline or twins, any combination of those three plus melees, and you should be good. So that's that one. Now, the other thing I want to look at is going to be the shop, because the shop has some interesting things in it. So you've got some heroes, you've got a Strilled, a Rosaline, Rosaline's not bad, you've got Brutus, not bad, uh, Sophia, not really good late game, Nomura, who I wouldn't bother, because Labyrinth, uh, Shimira, you know, if you're early game. But the thing is, we've got some nice Celestial slash Hypergene, I'm really keen on that, um, what's his name? What's his name? I've, I've forgotten his name for a second, please show me, Zolrath. Really keen on him for my Celestial Hypergene account, but the thing I would really be buying in this event, especially if you're free to play and you're looking at that Brutus event, hopefully this does drop before it, uh, the Brutus event ends, but we'll have to wait and see. But what I'm really looking at is these, is these Soul Stones, because if you look at it at a cost of 30 um, of the the bells, I don't really know, I think they're bells. <laughs> at a cost of 30 of the bells, um, you're getting 10 of those, so you're gonna buy that six times. So six times, three is 18 so you're looking at 180 to get a guaranteed purple when you can get a hundred per day if you get a hundred percent um we'll talk about the shop in a second but free to play you can get a hundred per day if you if you're maxing this out meaning you're gonna get those summons pretty quick so in two days you'll have a guaranteed purple another two days another one you can buy that 24 times so i would just be spamming that that's my personal opinion if you want to test your luck and think you might get some double purples you can go to for the scrolls but the scrolls are the same cost as a guaranteed purple i like the odds of the guaranteed purple much more than the scrolls and beyond that you can look at the heroes but for me even going for those celestials or hypergenes it doesn't seem worth it let's just put it at a cost of 200 just we'll, we'll round it up to cost of 200 for the um for the for a full purple summon you're gonna get five purple summons for one of those guys i just feel like and with the with the purple stones i feel like they have better rates of being celestials and hypergenes than normal summons so i personally i'm going for those if you don't like to play it risky like that and you really want another wukong or another uh zolrath or another Damn, Orthros, I'm, I'm struggling with names today. But if you want one of those and you really want it, go for it. I'd really avoid these heroes at the top for 640. I, I like, if you want away from Ascended on something like, you know, Brutus and you've been waiting for it for ages or a Rosaline, maybe take it. But just in pure value, the fact, the fact that it's 180 to get a purple summon compared to 640 up here, I, I just, I still think I'd take the three or four purple stone summons over a select faction hero summon that you're gonna eventually get anyway unless like i said you've been hanging out for that one more copy of brutus to ascend him and you're just not pulling it then maybe go for it but besides that let's go the stones people throwing in a quick edit because it turns out you can also get 20 signature item um select boxes for 160 now these are actually really really good value as well especially when you compare them to they're just on the above my head there if you can't see see the the image of it but when you compare that to the the stones um it's actually cheaper to get one of these for 20 than it is to get a purple hero now it's up to you guys on my main account uh i'm really 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 close to th to level 30 on my athalia so i'm probably going to go with that so i feel like in the long 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 run these are probably a better option um but still the purple stones a great option so i'd be choosing between those two if oh you guys once again it's completely up to you so let's continue and then the good thing is it's got the the bells at one apiece for 15k gold that you can just dump whatever leftover you have at the end um, if you weren't cleaning up from it. So the event does last for 10 days and 16 hours. So it's gonna be a total of 11 days. I, actually, no, I think it was another day before that because it took so long to get on here. So I think it's 12 days total for the event, um, which means free to play, you can get a total of 1200 of the, um, whatchamacallums, the, the bells. So 
you're going to be able to get a fair few of these bad boys, so it's pretty good value. It's a pretty nice event for what we're actually getting. So you'll get six to seven of those. I'm not doing the hard math, but I'm going purples. That's all I'm saying on that. The other thing you do have, if we go over into the merchant shop, into the merchant ship, um, you'll see here the $1 pack. Hmm. Why is that reading $1 for me? Is that one Australian dollar? Who cares, it's a test server. Um, anyway, so you can buy 30 of these for $1 and that's coming with 10 stones as well. So if you are a low spending player, if you're a whale, I'd definitely buy these every day, $1, I mean, it's nothing if you're a whale. Um, but if you're a low spender, you know, and you don't mind buying like a monthly pack or something like that, um, I'd probably go for this because you're gonna get some really good value out of it, um, being that you do get those 30 every day plus 10 um, stones. And when we go back to the event and look at it, and we look at this one, you're effectively getting 20 stones per day uh, for a dollar, which in the scheme of the cost of things in this game, it is actually really good value. So like I said, once again, if you're a low spender, for me, I'm not gonna do it on every account. I'll probably pick one account that I'm feeling like pushing at the time and I'll buy that dollar pack on that account every time because hey, it's pretty good value, you know, 20 stones for a dollar, but up to you once again. But, uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this one, guys. That's the new event. Looks really good. Once again, we will go through it more once it does come to the global server, and I'll test it out on all my accounts, give you guys as many options as I can to help you out with team builds for this event to try and clear it. But once again, Rosaline, Rowan, and Twins are going to be your stable heroes, plus some melee DPS, and you're good. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.